Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Harry, welcome to Selfie Story and let's get right into it. Have you ever looked up at the sky and been like, what if the birds are actually drones, man? No, just me? Well, even if you haven't, get ready to dive deep into the wild world of conspiracy theories. We're talking about the juiciest, most talked about mysteries on the internet. We're going on a journey, you guys. Buckle up as we explore the top five conspiracy theories that'll make you question everything you thought you knew. From flat earthers to moon landing deniers, we're leaving no tinfoil hat unturned. So grab your snacks, dim the lights, and get ready to have your mind blown. First up, we've got the classic, the OG, the one and only, the flat earth theory. This theory has been around for centuries, and despite all the scientific advancements we've made, it still has a surprising number of followers. Okay, so picture this. You're chilling on a giant pancake. Except this pancake is our planet. Imagine walking around on a flat surface with the edges of the world just a short distance away. No, seriously, that's what these folks believe. They envision Earth as a flat disk, not a sphere, and they have some pretty interesting explanations for how it all works. They say the Earth is flat, like a disk, and surrounded by a giant ice wall, Antarctica, obviously. This ice wall supposedly keeps all the oceans from spilling over the edge. I mean, have you ever met anyone who's fallen off the edge of the Earth? Didn't think so. The idea of an edge is fascinating, but also a bit terrifying if you think about it. But hey, who needs science when you have, like, a really level spirit level, right? Flat Earthers often use simple tools and observations to support their claims. The Flat Earthers have evidence, of course. They aren't just making these claims out of thin air. They have their own set of proofs and arguments. They point to things like the horizon always looking flat, um, perspective much? They argue that if the Earth were truly round, we would see a noticeable curve. And the lack of visible curvature in photos. Hello, wide-angle lenses. They believe that photos showing a curved horizon are manipulated or taken with special lenses. They even have their own maps, which, let's be honest, look like something I would have drawn in elementary school. These maps depict the Earth as a flat plane with the North Pole at the center. Don't even get me started on the whole gravity is a lie thing. Flat Earthers have some unique ideas about how gravity works. Or rather, doesn't work. Apparently it's all about density and buoyancy. They claim that objects fall not because of gravity, but because they are denser than the air around them. So basically, we're all just floating on a giant pancake in space. Makes sense. Not. It's a fun idea to entertain, but it doesn't hold up to scientific scrutiny. I mean, come on guys, we have satellites orbiting the Earth, pictures from space, and centuries of scientific evidence proving the Earth is a sphere. The evidence is overwhelming and hard to ignore. But hey, who am I to judge? Maybe I'm just brainwashed by the round Earth propaganda. It's always good to question things, but some theories are more plausible than others. But seriously, the flat earth theory is a wild ride. It's a fascinating glimpse into how people can interpret the world in vastly different ways. It's like the ultimate what if scenario. What if everything we knew about our planet was wrong? It's a thought provoking idea, even if it's not based in reality. And you know what? It's actually kind of entertaining to think about. The creativity and imagination behind these theories can be quite captivating. Just don't go throwing away your globes just yet. While it's fun to explore these ideas, it's important to remember the scientific evidence that supports the spherical Earth we live on. Next up, we're blasting off to the moon. Or are we? The moon landing has been one of the most celebrated achievements in human history, but not everyone is convinced it actually happened. That's right, we're talking about the moon landing hoax, a topic that has sparked countless debates and fueled numerous conspiracy theories over the decades. Some people believe that the whole thing was staged, filmed on a soundstage somewhere in the Nevada desert. They argue that the US government faked the landing to win the space race against the Soviet Union. I mean, it wouldn't be Hollywood if they didn't at least try to fake the moon landing, right? The idea of a grand deception is tantalizing, and it plays into our fascination with secrets and cover-ups. The evidence? Well, there's the whole the flag is waving in the wind, but there's no wind on the moon thing. This has been one of the most cited pieces of so-called evidence by conspiracy theorists. Okay, valid point. Except for the fact that the flag had a telescopic pole to make it fly proudly, and the wrinkles were from being folded up in the spacecraft. Come on, people, details! 
The flag's movement was due to the astronauts' handling and the lack of atmosphere to dampen the motion. Then there are the shadows in the photos, which some claim look off. They argue that the shadows should be parallel if the sun was the only light source. But again, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation, perspective and the uneven lunar surface. The moon's rugged terrain can cause shadows to appear at odd angles, creating the illusion of multiple light sources. It's like when you take a selfie and your nose looks huge. It's just an optical illusion. Shadows can play tricks on our eyes, especially in an unfamiliar environment like the moon. And let's not forget the lack of stars in the photos. Conspiracy theorists claim NASA forgot to put them in the background, suggesting the photos were taken on Earth. But in reality, the bright lunar surface and the astronauts' suits made the stars too faint to be captured on film. The camera settings were adjusted to capture the brightly lit surface, washing out the faint stars in the background. It's like trying to take a picture of a firefly next to a spotlight. Good luck with that. The contrast between the bright and dark areas made it nearly impossible to capture both in the same shot. The technology of the time simply couldn't handle the dynamic range needed to photograph both the moon's surface and the distant stars. Look, I get it. The idea of a massive cover-up is intriguing and makes for great stories. The moon landing was a monumental achievement, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. And sometimes it's hard to believe it actually happened. The scale of the accomplishment can make it seem almost too incredible to be true. But come on guys, let's give NASA some credit here. They did some amazing things, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. They did some amazing things, and to think they faked it all is just, well, it's kind of insulting, isn't it? The dedication, hard work, and sacrifices of countless individuals went into making the moon landing a reality. So the next time you hear someone questioning the moon landing, remember the incredible effort and innovation that went into it. It's a story of human triumph, not deception. Let's celebrate the achievements of those who dared to dream big and made the impossible possible. After all, it's not just about one small step for man, but one giant leap for mankind. Area 51. The mere mention of this place sends shivers down your spine, right? It's a name that conjures up images of shadowy figures and hidden truths. It's like the Bermuda Triangle of the Desert, a place where the unknown and the unexplained seem to converge. Shrouded in secrecy and whispered rumors, it's a magnet for conspiracy theories and wild speculation. Officially, it's just a top-secret military base, a place where cutting-edge technology and national security interests are safeguarded. But conspiracy theorists believe it's home to something far more extraterrestrial. They argue that the government is hiding evidence of alien encounters and advanced spacecraft. We're talking about aliens, guys. Aliens! The kind of stuff that makes you question everything you thought you knew about our place in the universe. Think about it, a super-secret government facility in the middle of nowhere? It's the perfect setting for all sorts of clandestine activities. What else could they possibly be hiding? Advanced technology, secret experiments? The possibilities are endless. I mean, it's not like they're developing top secret weapons or anything. Oh wait, they totally are. But still, aliens. The idea that we might not be alone in the universe is too tantalizing to ignore. The rumors about Area 51 have been swirling for decades, capturing the imagination of people around the world. Fueled by alleged UFO sightings and stories from former employees like Bob Lazar, who claims to have worked on reverse engineering alien spacecraft. His accounts have added a layer of credibility to the theories, making them even more intriguing. Is he telling the truth? Or is he just really good at making stuff up? Who knows? His stories are compelling, but they also raise more questions than answers. Or is he just really good at making stuff up? Who knows? But that's the beauty of Area 51, isn't it? The line between truth and fiction is so blurred that it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. But that's the beauty of Area 51, isn't it? The mystery, the intrigue. It's a place that keeps us guessing, always wondering what might be hidden just out of sight. The mystery, the intrigue, the endless possibilities that keep us coming back for more. The possibility that somewhere out there, the government is hiding evidence of alien life. It's a thought that both terrifies and excites us. I mean, it's not like they'd ever admit it, right? The idea of a government cover-up is almost as old as the rumors themselves. They'd probably just deny everything and tell us it's all just a weather balloon. 
It's the classic explanation that never seems to satisfy anyone. Speaking of weather balloons, what about those chemtrails? Another topic for another day perhaps, but it just goes to show how deep the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories can go. Okay guys, before we dive into this one, I just want to say that 9-11 was a horrific tragedy, and we should never forget the lives lost that day. However, like with any major event, there are always conspiracy theories surrounding it. Some people believe that the attacks were an inside job, orchestrated by the government or other powerful groups. They point to things like the collapse of the World Trade Center towers, which some claim was a controlled demolition, and the alleged lack of debris at the Pentagon crash site. Now, I'm not here to say what to believe or not believe, but I think it's important to approach these theories with a critical eye. There's a lot of misinformation out there, and it's easy to get caught up in the speculation. It's important to remember that there are real people who lost loved ones on 9-11, and we should be respectful of their pain and suffering. Have you ever looked up at the sky and seen those long white trails left behind by airplanes? You know, the ones that slowly spread out and form wispy clouds? Well, according to some, those aren't just ordinary contrails, short for condensation trails. Oh no, those are chemtrails, and they're apparently full of all sorts of nasty stuff that the government is spraying on us. Why would they do that, you ask? Well, the theories range from population control to weather manipulation to mind control. I mean, you gotta hand it to the government, they're ambitious. So, what's the truth about chemtrails? Well, despite what the conspiracy theorists say, there's no scientific evidence to support the claim that those white trails are anything other than, well, contrails. They're formed when hot, humid exhaust from airplanes mixes with the cold, dry air at high altitudes. It's basic science, guys. But hey, who needs science when you have a tinfoil hat and a YouTube account, right? Well, there you have it, folks the top five conspiracy theories that'll make you question everything you thought you knew. From flat earth truthers to alien enthusiasts, we've covered it all. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-blowing content. Until next time, stay curious, stay skeptical, and most importantly, stay weird. But seriously, if the earth is flat, where does all the water go when it rains? Asking for a friend. Stay tuned for another episode of Mind-Blowing Conspiracy Theories.